Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, I'm Luca and today I want to very quickly show you how you can build this stacking cards effect in Framer. I will show you how you can build this step by step, but you can also remix this project completely for free on Click Supply, I will leave the link in the description, all you have to do is click on Remix for free and it will duplicate the project on your dashboard so you can see how it is built. Now let's look at the demo I have set up. Basically what we have now is a simple stack with a few cards in it. These are completely normal cards, they are a bit tilted but that doesn't really make any difference here. And if we now try to preview you will see that the stacking cards effect is not taking place. So how do we make this work? Basically the trick behind this effect is to change the card position from relative to sticky. The difference between position relative and sticky is that when you have an element with position sticky, once the top of the element hits the top of the viewport, the element will start staying sticky until the container ends. So for example, for example here we have position sticky and value top 100. This value basically means how far from the top of the viewport we want it to stay sticky. And if we preview the effect on the live website, you will see that once the top of the card plus 100 pixel uh, hits the top of the viewport, it will start staying sticky at the top of the viewport. So basically it will stay fixed at the value we set until its container ends and then it will basically just scroll normally. So this is basically the whole trick. All we have to do is change the position of every card from relative to sticky. We'll also give a little increment on the top value so that we have a bit of spacing between the cards that, this, that gives this like 3D effect where one stacks on top of the other. So the first one is going to be position sticky 100, the second one position sticky 110, position sticky 120, position sticky 130, 140 and 150. Now in theory this should work but it actually doesn't if we try to preview it. The reason why it doesn't is because for a position sticky to work all its containers must have uh, overflow set to visible. So for example here the containers of the cards are the, uh, this element called cards but also the desktop. So I have to first select cards, go to styles overview, overflow sorry, and change from hidden to visible and also the same for desktop. So I'm going to take desktop, change the overflow to visible and if we now try to preview the effect will finally work. And that was basically it for the tutorial, I hope you found it useful. As I mentioned you can find the link in the description below that you can use to remix this project. If you liked the video please consider leaving a like and subscribing, if you have any questions or any topics you would want me to cover feel free to leave a comment and I'll see you guys in the next one.